Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. So in this video I'd like to give you guys an update on my tropical garden here and start getting it ready for the summer. So as you can see at the moment there's not much going on. It's currently early May and it's time for me to uncover the, the plot and see what we've got growing. So with this plot what I do is every winter I cover it with a lot of mulch to insulate it. If there's bananas which are only one or two trunks then I also cover it with this insulation tower and those are kept insulated like that. So hopefully most of these will be okay at the root level. Unfortunately the stems mostly rot off for me because it's very hard to keep them insulated where I live. We get temperatures down to minus 15 so keeping the banana stems alive and frost free is a bit unrealistic but I can certainly keep the roots alive. So at the moment this time of year there's nothing to see. Some years I've waited until almost early June to uncover it but this year we've got a warm spell now coming in the next week and it looks like it's going to be quite a long long warm spell so I'm going to risk it I'm going to uncover them and anyway when they start to grow up it'll be another month because the ground will be cold for a while and they shouldn't get much damage if they do try and come out it'll just be the tips of the new shoots coming up that will get damaged so I'm going to go ahead uncover this now so the only things that really show in, in this part of the garden at the moment that's coming through is we did have some hoitunia down here. You can see the hoitunia there. That's just starting to come through, but this isn't tropical. This just looks looks unusual. That's starting to shoot up. And I've just had to relay these slabs because I, I put in some electrics for my shed and there's quite a lot of it spreading around. So you can see that there's a bit over here and there's a bit right over there. So it's certainly spread a lot since last summer. So other plants that we can see coming up, we've got lots of nice um, tulips. I never planted these, these are already in the garden. There's five of them in this bed now. They look quite nice and so I'm just going to leave them and they can be a little bit of a spring display. I will definitely add to the spring display I think as time goes on. The main thing that I have put in here are these fritillary. So the fritillaries, they've been here a number of years now, they're looking really good. Unfortunately right now the flowering's going over but they did look much better a week or two ago when they're in full flower. And these are huge now, these are well over a meter in height so really nice big plants. There's only four that have continued to grow to the full size. A couple other ones got snapped off. So the ones that have snapped off have become weakened and they're very small plants. So hopefully they will size up again over a few years. And I might also add some more at a later date as well. But it's a bit difficult to plant new things in for spring because most of the winter everything's covered in a thick mulch. So I'll have to think carefully about where I can plant stuff. So the only other things that we can see is the Tratsicarpus down here. So the Tratsicarpus never gets covered up. It's, it's pretty frost hardy. I do lose the new leaves every winter unfortunately so you can see in the middle there's nothing new coming up from the centre. The new leaves uh, they just rotted off and died. They did this last year as well so that really sets it back. It does tend to regrow the leaves so I'm not too worried but um, it really does set it back and as you can see this has really not been growing much over the years. Some other plants that are coming up is my giant Xantodesia down here. So you can see it's just starting to come up out of the ground. Hopefully there'll be a few other plants starting to come up soon as well. That's the only real um, other plant that's kind of tropical that's starting to come up. We have also my Paulonia, which I cut back a, a couple of months ago. This is starting to sprout. You can see that new shoot coming there. So once this gets going, this will grow really fast. And what I will do is I'll just make sure it's taken down to the one shoot. So I've, I've already taken off some of the shoots already. I just want that one shoot to grow. I don't want there to be multiple stems because what will happen is it'll have lots of branches instead of one big branch and giant leaves. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clear the site, get all this mulch away, see what we've got coming up. There probably won't be much to see straight away but I'll come back in a couple of weeks and we'll see how everything's doing and hopefully all my tropicals have survived this winter. So that's the site now mostly cleared. As you can see, there's a lot more space. What I tend to do is I remove the vast majority of the mulch, but I leave some of it behind. That just helps suppress the weeds. It helps to keep the moisture in the soil. And as it breaks down, it adds a lot of nutrients and organic matter to the soil. So looking at the results so far, it's not looking great to be honest, but it's always hard to tell at this time of year. 
often at this time of year there's not really anything to see so it's now the middle of may we have had some unusually warm weather so far we didn't have very, very warm in april but may's been quite warm i thought it might have spilled a bit of growth on but i think because everything was so well covered and mulched the ground has stayed, stayed quite cold and what i tend to find with my tropical bed is even into june nothing's really happening it's not really until the end of june or july that i get good growth so I'm not too worried yet, but it's always a bit scary at this time of year when you clear the bed and it looks completely empty and you can't imagine the bed being completely filled up to the height of two meters with tropical plants by the end of the summer. But that's what it should look like in three or four months time. So I'll show you what I can see coming up anyway, what's happening. So banana wise, there's not really much to see. So I should have a banana kind of this area. Can't see anything there. There should be a banana here, which was well insulated in the insulation tower. You can see it has turned to mush and is washed down to the ground level. Now hopefully the main growing point has survived. If it has, it'll come up to a similar size as last year or slightly bigger. If the main growing point has died, it will send up lots of suckers and it will be a lot smaller than last year, unfortunately. So hopefully it has retained some of the main growing point, but we'll just have to wait and see on that one. But those two are my Musa Sikimensis plants and they're not quite as hardy, but my Musa, my Musa Bazoo is over here and that's definitely survived and it's also putting on a little bit of growth. So you can see just there, there's a little bit of green growth coming through. So the main suit of that survived. So that should probably reach about two meters in height this summer. That should look quite good. So I'm glad that survived, but that's the hardiest banana. So out of all of them, that's the one I'm least worried about. And it's one that I actually used the least amounts of mulch on. But as you can see, even though it's less mulched, it survived better than the other banana plants. So other plants that are worthy of note is I have found some gingers down here. So you can see, the tops of them look like they have rotted off. They are still slightly firm, but they're definitely going rotten. But hopefully deeper down, those tubers will be fine. So this winter was a bit different to the last couple of winters. So although it was quite cold, we had two quite prolonged cold snaps. The cold snaps uh, weren't too bad. I think we only got down to about minus eight. There were prolonged cold snaps though, so the, the frost was able to penetrate fairly deep. But the main problem was just how wet it was this winter. So. For most of the winter we had much more rain than normal, it was really wet and I think that's caused a lot of these plants to rot off even if they haven't been killed off by the frost. So we'll just have to see how much damage there is in about a month or two when everything starts to regrow. Now when it did come to my insulation tower this year I filled it with, with bottles of water in the hope that that would help retain a lot more heat. It looks like the frost has still managed to get into that unfortunately and I did check it when we had the really hard frost and what happened is a lot of the bottles didn't freeze, they stayed as water. So what that means is, unfortunately it doesn't mean that it stayed above freezing. What actually happened is we had super cold water. So the water in the bottle was too pure. There wasn't any nucleation sites to form ice. And so the whole water bottle stayed as water. And as it freezes into ice, it, that releases a lot of heat and keeps the temperature around freezing. So that wasn't able to happen. So the, te the temperature of the water went well below freezing, but without actually turning into ice. So it didn't work as well as I'd hoped. So next year, I'm gonna have to put some kind of dirt or something in the bottles as a nucleation site to encourage it to freeze better. But I'll at least know for next year. So that's the site for now. As you can see, not a lot going on. Um, even underneath these plant pots where I had some small banana trees, I don't actually see anything coming up. This isn't a banana tree, this is another plant coming up. So all I've got left to do is a little bit of weeding. You can see this corner here that wasn't mulched has got a lot of weeds coming up. So I'll get that weeded out, a few weeds at the back as well. But otherwise having a thick layer of mulch on it all winter has stopped any weeds coming up, which is really nice. That saves me a big job. It's a lot easier for me to clear the site in, in half an hour or an hour than it is to spend an hour or two weeding it. So it certainly cuts down my work that way. So as well as weeding, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to water the sites where I think the bananas are with some really quite warm water, probably around 30 degrees. That's to try and get the soil temperature up. The soil temperature at the moment is going to be quite cold and that will really help them to kickstart and start growing. I'll also add some nitrogen feed in at the same time. That will also give them a good boost to, to get back into growth. So that's all for this part of the video. I will see you towards the end of the video, where it's hopefully a month's time and we'll see what's growing up. Hopefully we've not lost too many plants this year. So it's now a week later and I'd like to show you how the plot's doing. So it's been uncovered now, as I say, for about a week. And we've had some pretty decent growth here on the Paulonia at the back. I'm really happy to see how much growth is on that. It's probably almost a foot tall already. So that's really impressive in just one week. And then we have got a couple of other bananas shooting up. So first of all, the Musa Bajou down here, as you can see, 
It's got one major uh, chute coming up, but there's actually several smaller ones as well. So you can see here, this is the main chute that's coming up, and that's quite a good size. And we've also got another three coming up there. That's the original one from a couple of years ago, but that's now completely dead, the main growing point, but the, the kind of tuber is still alive. So it's good that the main growing points are alive from this one. That means it shouldn't have to restart from a really small size, and we should actually get a decent sized banana tree from that. Now my other banana trees, there's not much going on, but I was uncovering some mulch under this section earlier today and I've uncovered this small shoot. So I don't know if this is from the original growing point from last year or if the little side shoot that's come up, but it certainly looks quite small. So it, this might be quite a small banana this year, unfortunately. This is the uh, growing point from last year. As you can see, there's no sign of growth. And it's the same with the other banana, which is probably impossible to show on the camera, but it was roughly this area. There's nothing to see there because it's completely died back and you'll have to restart from the beginning, I think. So it'll probably be quite a small banana as well. So I've gone ahead and I've added a few plants to kind of fill out the bed as, as annuals, especially as I'm waiting for the perennials to get going and there's not going to be much to see in, in this part of the garden. So at the back here, I've got two castor oil plants. These are the giant kind of bluey turquoise variety. So these look really nice. These get really large, these ones. I've also got, I think this is the Impala variety here, which has got more of the red leaves. It hasn't got the red colouring yet, but it should do later in the summer. I've also planted out some Anseti along the front as well, just as fillers to kind of create a bit more interest. And then I have some shoe fly plants, so I've put two of them in the bed. And they've got really nice purple flowers, and I quite like the leaves as well with the black spots on them there. So that's something else that I filled out the bed with. So I've also got some other plants that are coming up as well, and that is the hardy begonias here. So this is Begonia grandis. As you can see down there, lots of nice new shoots coming up, so that's looking good. And I remember last year it was like this, just a few shoots in spring, but then by the end of summer, it'll be absolutely covered again with loads of foliage. So I'll now wait a few more weeks, see what comes up and hopefully we'll have very fast growth in the annuals that I've planted and we'll start to see some of the perennials come up like the gingers and the remaining banana trees as well. So it's now about another month later and as you can see there has been some growth but it's not quite as good as what I would have hoped for. So after that last update there was one week of really nice warm weather. In fact it was much warmer than it should be for May and it was closer to the summer temperature or even slightly above what we would normally have for summer temperatures. So the temperature was around the mid-20s so it was really good. Lots of stuff started to grow such as the bananas over here. They were looking quite good and then for the last three weeks we've just had really cold weather, lots and lots of rain and just pretty miserable weather really. It's been more like April weather so we've had temperatures down to four degrees uh, some days we didn't go above 9 degrees during the daytime and it's just been constantly around 12 degrees most of the time and really cold. It's very close to frost a few times and that really damaged the, the bananas unfortunately. So you can see over here on these Musa Bazoo bananas you can see some of the older leaves there have got um, some kind of brown bits that have died off and same with the other one down here, the Cicamensis, you can see it's got some brown sections so it's really not been doing well, really been struggling. I think that the cold has actually killed off some of the leaves, so it's been really windy as well. I've also lost quite a few ricinus plants, so I had quite a few ricinus over here at the back. You can see there's some here, but I actually lost two or three, and I had to replant them with some spare plants I had lying around. Now, this week we're supposed to warm up again, so hopefully the growth will start to grow. It's just past the middle of June, but it's still quite cold weather, but hopefully the end of June, July, we'll get some warmer weather, and we'll get some better growth. So, it's not looking too good at the moment, unfortunately, but we do have most plants surviving, at least. I can see down here, I've got one of my heady chiams coming up. You see that shoot just there. So it's good to see that coming up. The other headed chiams though, I haven't actually seen any growth from them yet. I'm hoping they're not dead and they're gonna come up later. But at least I know some of my headed chiams are fine. And the other plants, as I say, have been growing, but just quite slowly. So you can see my shoe fly plants here. They're very short and stocky. Normally they grow much taller with bigger leaves and they've just really stayed very small. And they've got very thick stems because it's been so, so windy and wet. So the wind and the cold has just kind of let them grow thick stocky stems and not much height. So all in all, everything's struggling a bit, but at least it looks like everything has survived the winter, or the vast majority of things have survived. And the only other thing that's happening with this cold wet weather is there's loads of weeds. So I cover this with lots of mulch material for my compost, and normally the weeds don't grow in this, so we get quite dry June weather normally, and we don't get much weed growth or germination, but you can see we've got loads of weeds coming up. 
So what I'll need to do is give this a weed in the next few weeks to make sure they don't get established. But within a few weeks, the, all the other plants just start to smother it so there shouldn't be a weed problem later on in the year. You can really see some of the plants that would be smothering things like this Begonia grandis. They're just sitting there and they're not growing. And we're now probably slightly behind where we should be compared with previous years, even though we had something good to head start with that really warm May. So that's all for this video. It looks like it's not too bad, the damage from the winter. I think the wet really caused a lot of the damage as well as the cold. So we did lose everything to the ground, but all the bananas are re-sprouting. Things aren't looking too good at the moment, but we are getting to the time of year where it should be warming up. So hopefully we get some rapid growth soon. And I'll see you guys at the end of the summer and we'll see how big these plants get. The tropical plants do grow very quickly. So if I'm lucky and we have a hot summer, I can still get bananas up to two or three meters in height and I can get my Paulonia to grow probably another four or five meters as well. So I'll see you guys at the end of the summer.